how to prepare for the quantitative aptitude. Almost everyone has this question in their mind. So let me answer this for you. The very important thing in order to crack any exam is confidence. To be confident, you should be thorough with the fundamentals. So pick up 8th, 9th and 10th mathematics books and just give a quick glance of all the topics. That's the best way to go about it. But not everybody is inclined for the book reading. I myself find it hard to actually pick up the books and brush it up. So the other way to go about it is pick up a good mentor who can actually explain all the concepts in the quickest way. And I think we fit in this game. So you can just go to our website and check out the playlist for quantitative aptitude. This playlist has all the important concepts required for the TCS and QT test. Just stick to that and solve them. While you do that, if you have any doubts, you can just directly post your comments. We'll try to respond as much as we can. The second very important thing is short notes of all the formulae. Because it is mathematics, there is a lot of formulas which has to be memorized. It's a very good approach if you can note down each and every formula in a small notebook. I know it's very much time consuming, but trust me, it's definitely worth because just one day or two days before the exam, you can give a quick glance. The third important thing is practice. For success, learning is only half the process. The rest of the half is the practice. You can pick up any good book. I would suggest to go for R.S. Agarwal, which has almost 10,000 questions. Or else you can come to our website, wherein we have the listed videos and followed by the practice questions. The videos are followed by the most important practice questions, which are level-wise categorized. Level 1, Level 2 and Level 3. Level 3 is the toughest question. Once you solve these questions, it's more than enough. While you do this, make sure you keep the accuracy high. Also, wherever you're doing mistake, just go to the explanation part and try to understand where exactly you did it wrong. After this, the next thing is the topic tests. The topic tests are time-bound micro tests to help you understand how far you have learned a specific topic. So just solve them and try to understand your mistakes as well. If you have very less time before the exam, these are the important topics you can focus on. The first one is averages. The second is profit loss and interest. Then we have the component interest, simple interest. Then we have the trigonometric ratios. Then basic math simplifications. These are easy to pick up and the chances of the questions from these topics is very high. So just go with them. And the last and the very important thing is the time management. Most of the students put 100% effort, but still they don't qualify the exam because of lack of time. You might have heard or even you might have experienced this thing like, uh, yeah, time bohot kam ta, Maine easy questions bhi chhod diya. This is a common tendency, right? This happens because we generally tend to put a lot of time on the tough questions and we end up uh, leaving the easy questions. So the best way to go about it is at least solve 5 mock tests before the exam. This gives you a way to properly manage your time for all the sections and all the questions. And to help you in this, we have designed the premium mock tests wherein we have carefully picked up all the tough and even the important questions and we have placed it in the exam. Go solve them. Secondly, look into the test analysis, wherein we clearly give a breakup of each concept and where exactly you need to focus upon. I don't say that you have to buy our product, rather you pick up any company's mock test, but make sure you do it. It's very, very important. Lastly, everything is in front of you. It's just that you have to get up and start doing it. I'm sure success will be yours. So do it. All the best.